The word nihilist gets bandied around a lot here on YouTube. Lately, it's been applied to me a lot. I don't care. <laughs> um, I don't really agree with that epithet being uh, put on me, but you know, I can't stop people from doing it. Um, but am I a nihilist? I don't self-identify as one, but I guess that depends on what you mean by a nihilist, right? Um, not that I place huge emphasis or faith in dictionaries, but let's go to the Oxford and see what it says. The Oxford being, I guess, or the Oxford Advanced Learner's Dictionary, um, being one of the better ones. Um, noun, the rejection of all religious and moral principles in the belief that life is meaningless. And there's a 1.1 in philosophy, the belief in the, the belief that nothing in the world has a real existence. I would have thought that would be solipsist, but anyway. Um, the interesting thing about the Oxford uh, de uh, definitions here is that they um, both include the word belief. It is a positive, if you ask me, non-belief to say nothing is true or nothing has value or nothing is of consequence or nothing matters or whatever. Um, that is not the same thing as believing in nothing. No, I don't mean believing in something called nothing, <laughs> if you can wrap your head around that. What I mean is there's nothing that you believe in. What do you believe in? And what do we mean when we say we believe something? We can say that we're convinced by it, um, absolutely, but really, how convinced are you of everything around you? Um, how convinced are you in a belief type sense that you know the computer in front of you actually is nothing more than a jumble of matter and energy? You don't act that way, and that was one of the things that I sort of took Matt Dillahunty to task for a few months back, uh, where he says, "Well, if you believe in something, or if you act on something, then you believe in it." I would say, "No, no, definitely not." Um, I don't believe, then, that this webcam in front of me here is nothing but a jumble of matter and energy, but I'm not going to dispute that it is, though, because I don't see any reason to dispute the scientific definition. Um, so when I'm acting as though, am I acting as though the, that this webcam is no different from any other jumble of matter and energy? No, I'm not. Uh, but do I believe that that webcam has an actual identity and existence in and of itself? No, I don't. So nihilism is kind of an empty word in many ways. Um, and it's hard to sort of get to the bottom of what people mean when they use it. As, as I say, I think usually when people call me a nihilist, they, they're saying that, um, you know, they're using it as, a, as a, at least a, a pejorative. Um, what I would say is there is probably almost certainly a reality out there, but there is an infinite number of ways to perceive it. You can perceive everybody has their own different point of view, and and one's own personal point of view switches all the time. Um, the one that I grapple with sometimes is people say, "Well, you can't believe in two con uh, contradictory things simultaneously." Well, then I, I would say that we're just quibbling over what simultaneous means or what belief means, because, you know, a nanosecond after you believe one thing and then you believe it's opposite, I guess we can say that, no, that's not necessarily scientific, uh, simultaneous, rather. Um, but the other thing is, what do you mean when you say belief? I don't accept Dillahunty's definition that, you know, if you hold a fact to be true enough for you to act on it, you therefore believe in it. No, I don't, I don't believe, you know, I, I don't subscribe to that view of belief. Um, when somebody says that they believe in God, what does that mean? It means that you accept it without evidence, or you accept it without the normal evidence that people accept. Um, in other words, there's no proof. You would a lot of a lot of Christians or theists in general will say, "Yes, I have no evidence for God, but I have faith." And you know, that's what is it, Matthew 11 or something like this? I can't remember. It says, um, "Faith is belief in things for which there is no evidence." So. Um, but then there's, there's the other uh, view of what belief is, and I would say it's often, um, or rather what nihilism is, and that might be 
uh, a non-subscription to any established way of determining a truth. That might be true in my case, but that doesn't mean that I don't, or rather, that doesn't mean that I'm a solipsist or that I believe life is meaningless. That simply means that I only will accept what science says in as, in as much as it will get me the result that I want. I don't think that I've actually established any profound absolute truths or anything like that. Um, I, I, when I strike a match, I believe that if the match is manufactured correctly, I will get a flame. It doesn't mean that I believe in the absolute validity of matchness or flameness. Um, it's not that I don't uh, believe that a match will, when struck, will, hit, will produce a flame. It's just that I don't believe in it absolutely, because at the end of the day, I don't even know what's going on, and neither does science. Science can tell me, 99 times out of 100, if you do, or much more than that, I presume, uh, if you do this, then that will happen, etc. ceteris paribus. Um, we think 99.9999999 times out of 100. Is that belief? I would assume that it would have to be 100% for you to actually believe it, but nothing is ever certain, is it? So really, if, if nothing is absolutely certain, what do we believe? And I would almost say that saying that I believe something is almost, it's almost the same thing as a faith-based belief, in that I believe something to be true, um, say, I've, I've looked at the three um, classic rules of logic the same way, identity, non-contradiction, and excluded middle. Why do you believe in those? Why do you accept those as valid? Well, because if you, can, if you don't believe that, then nothing can be... You, you can't go forward philosophically after that. That doesn't make them true, though. <laughs> That's the problem. Um, you know, I don't like the taste of this particular type of food, therefore that food doesn't exist? I don't know. It, 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 it kind of sounds like that. It kind of sounds like I believe in what I want to be true in order to get a, a desired result. Um, if you believe in, if you don't believe in anything, I don't think that that makes you a nihilist. I think that just means that you've got a completely malleable point of view, and there may no, there may be no fixed point of view in which to perceive anything. But it doesn't mean that there's nothing there. It doesn't mean that reality is an illusion or anything like that. It simply means that there are as many points of view as there are people, I guess, or even instance, because our point of view can change from second to second. So I, I would assume that there's an infinite number of points of view. Why stick to one of them when you can change your mind? Or if you doggedly refuse to change your mind, what does that say about you? Uh, I'll go on believing in something because I'm not a nihilist. Wait a minute. <laughs> Is that a good reason to believe in something because you don't want to be a nihilist? I would have, I would have assumed that you would be, you'd believe in something because you're convinced by the evidence. But again, you can say, no, that's not really belief, that's just a provisional conviction, and subject to revision whenever new evidence comes along. So, it's not as though I'm doubting or disputing anything out there. It's just that I'm not, I don't believe in it. I don't believe that it is established as a fact. The only thing that I kind of do believe in, uh, but again, I guess that's <laughs> subject to change at any moment, given new evidence, but I can't imagine how new evidence would change this one, is the cogito, you know, cogito ergo sum. Uh, can I prove it? Nope. <laughs> that doesn't really matter. I don't care. I'm, I only want to prove my own existence to myself. So I'm not terribly interested in debating that with anybody, and I have no interest in burden of proof arguments or anything like that. If you don't want to believe that I exist, I don't care. <laughs> it, it, it matters not a jot to me. But nihilism, I think, is, in a sense, a belief. A belief that there is nothing. Oxford has both definitions. Both of them contain the word belief. Um, I cannot, in my mind... Um, disentangle the word belief from the word faith. Um, 
it just is because it is, damn it, you know, that kind of thing. Sorry, that doesn't work with me. Um, so what is a nihilist? Well, a nihilist, if you ask me, is like any other person with a belief. It's a belief in nothing. It's a, it's a non-belief, a, a, a stated position of non-belief, which I do not have. <laughs> I don't have a dog, dogma that says I will not believe in anything ever. It's just I want to be able to test it to the nth degree and decide what I make of it and whether or not I think that it's an absolutely valid thing at, in all circumstances and from all perspectives. Um, that's not nihilism. Provisional, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> provisional acceptance of things. <coughs> Even if it's things that I provisionally accept my entire life, gravity or, you know, uh, mathematics or whatever, is not the same thing as belief. So, that's what I think of nihilism, and that's why I think it doesn't apply to me. Um, I think that the way to ascertain somebody's beliefs is probably better determined not by applying a term to them in a somewhat hostile manner, but asking them what they believe, and then examining their behavior to go by whether or not you're convinced that they believe it. Um, Mystic of the Sands asked me to do this, but um, I'm often amazed by people who talk about, say, things like compassion and empathy. Uh, empathy in particular. Um, Ed Endem is pretty big on that one. And yet, you look at how he conducts himself, and he's just a torrent of abuse. And it's hard to square that with any belief in empathy. Um, so if somebody doesn't believe in anything, I would have to say that uh, the only way to ascertain that is to ask them what they believe and watch what they do. Um, even that is might be the most accurate way to determine whether or not somebody is a nihilist, but even that isn't exhaustive because people can act and they can lie. <laughs> so how do you know? Um, but as I say, I think nihilism is kind of a positive position. It is a position that negates things or rejects things, rejects everything, I suppose, um, and says, this does not exist. There is no meaning, etc. I certainly don't subscribe to that point of view.